We're giving you a first look at the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show. Things just got kicked off this morning, and there are tons of vendors here to help you out for whatever you're searching for. Hope you enjoy, and we'll look forward to seeing you. Thanks. Ed Laskowski was one of the first people in the door at the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show. We like to see everything that's new and modern in the housing industry. Today, they're just browsing, but keeping a big barn project in mind. It has some constructional damage, so yeah, that's going to be this, this spring and summer. The some 1,900 vendors here ready to help with whatever home improvement project you may have. Maybe it's a kitchen remodel or you're in the market for a pool table. This marks Dan Albin's first show. His business, Patriot Woodworks, makes and installs hardwood flooring, custom tables too. For them, spring and summer means a lot of work. So we're, we're pretty busy, but uh, uh, we're definitely getting things done. So yeah, we've, we've got room to get things done in the next couple months. It's the same for Playground World. Jessica Lagamba is showing off outdoor equipment like basketball hoops and the springless trampoline. She says it's good to be back here after a pandemic hiatus. Kids are now starting to come back into the store. You see the smiles on their faces, so they're playing again. So as a parent, it's great to see that because I think kids really, really miss that. And this 40th Home and Garden show going on without the man who's been its mastermind for the past 40 years, John DeSantis passed away from cancer on New Year's Day. Here's his son, Mark Moore. There's a lot of new things on my shoulders, but it, uh, my dad has created a, a thing here that is just amazing. And Mark Moore taking over for his dad, John DeSantis. Mark says he's now working with his 18-year-old son, Shane, to make this show go on. Of course, they hope you'll stop by. The Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show goes until March 13th.